Hey, what is up guys? MLT Magic Tricks here. So in today's video, I'm going to be performing and then teaching you this visual card trick with a really awesome ending. And this trick will definitely get great reactions from all of your spectators. So I do recommend you guys stick around for this one. But really quickly, before we get into this performance, I just want to talk about the new channel series that is going to be starting in my next video. So I am going to be solving uh, and reviewing some puzzles here on the channel for you guys. These are just going to be videos in addition to the content that I'm posting already. So that uh, video series is going to start in my next video. So make sure you guys do stay tuned for that. I think you are really going to enjoy those videos. Uh, so make sure you guys do stay tuned for that. Just want to give you guys a heads up on what's going on. But anyways, let's get straight into the performance for this card trick. Okay, so I'm gonna start off this trick just by taking out the deck here, and what we're gonna do is remove the Ace of Spades. So the Ace of Spades is going to be really important in this trick, but we do not need it right now. We're just gonna go ahead and place the Ace of Spades right here off to the side, but we will get to the Ace later uh, in this card trick. Now guys, this is the part of the trick where if I had a spectator with me, they would go ahead and choose a card. So let's say if I had a spectator here with me, they would just go ahead and call stop anywhere they want to. So let's say my spectator calls stop right here. I would just lift up from where they called stop, and this case, uh, this is going to be my spectator's card. So my spectator's card is a jack of spades. Now I would take my uh, spectator's card. We're just going to go ahead and place it right here somewhere inside the middle of the deck, just like that. Now with the card lost in the deck, this is the part of the trick where the ace of spades comes into play. So the ace in this trick is not just any card. It's actually a magical card because watch this. All I need to do, snap my fingers over the ace, give my hand a little wave. And you will see that if I spread out the ace, I'm I mean the deck now, the Ace of Spades actually gets the entire deck to change into red cards just like this, except one face down blue card right here. And the only blue card in the deck is not just any card, it happens to be your selection right there, the Jack of Spades. So that was pretty good guys, but I think the Ace can actually do one more magical uh, thing for this trick. So we have our Ace right here, just like that. Now we're going to try one more uh, thing here. So we're going to take the Ace of Spades, we're going to place it on top of the deck, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna snap my fingers, wave my hand over the card. Now, if I turn it over, you will see that the Ace of Spades actually changes into the Jack of Clubs, which is the soulmate to your selection, just like that. So guys, that is the card trick. I really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you wanna learn how to do it, make sure to stick around for the tutorial. Okay, so I really hope you guys enjoyed that performance and I would classify this card trick as an intermediate level trick just because it is very angle sensitive and you do need to memorize some steps in order to perform this trick correctly. But don't worry, with a little bit of practice, it really will not be too difficult to perform and I definitely think it's worth it because this card trick has a very powerful effect on your spectator. So now let's get straight into the tutorial. So you are going to need two different decks for this trick. Um, I think blue and red bicycle decks work best just because it's really easy to see, you know, the contrasting colors here. So that's what I recommend you guys do for this trick. And now let's get into the cards that you're going to need. So I use the red deck here. And what I did was I removed these three cards, the two black jacks and the ace of spades. It honestly really does not matter which three cards you remove. I like to use the ace of spades just because it's like the most prominent card in the deck. And then I like to remove, you know, two face cards that have the same color in this case, the two black jacks. So that is what I recommend you guys do for this trick. Once you have done this, you're going to remove, you know, your three red cards here from the red deck or if you use a blue deck, you remove the three blue cards from the blue deck. So with these cards removed, you're going to then take the corresponding cards from a different colored deck. In this case, the uh, I used a blue bicycle deck here. I took out the same cards and here is the setup. It's really easy. So you're going to start off by just taking out a random red card. You're going to go ahead and place your two uh, face cards right here. In this case, the two black jacks. You're going to take a random card, place that right on top. And then right on top of that, you're going to place your ace of spades. So that is the only setup. It's really easy. It's not you know too big of a hassle to do or anything. So this is the setup one more time here. You're going to take your two face cards. Those are going to go on top and then a random card that is the same color as the rest of the deck here. And then you're going to take your ace of spades, place that on top. And just for a visual effect uh, for your spectator, I like to take out the card box that corresponds to the top card. So in this case, I have the blue bicycle box here. I like to place the cards in the box because once you start off the trick by removing the cards, it just reassures your spectator that you are using a blue deck. But in reality, you know, most of the, basically all the cards are red except three. You just really want your spectator to believe that you are 
using a blue deck uh, in this case, what I have here. So you're gonna start off, you know, and honestly guys, it does not matter. You do not need the, de uh, the box here. I just like to use it for a visual effect. Now you're gonna start off, you're gonna take out your cards and you're gonna tell your spectator, okay, we're gonna go ahead and use the Ace of Spades. And as you're saying that, you need to turn the deck towards you. You're gonna kind of turn it up and down at the same time. And as you're doing that, you're gonna slide off the Ace just like that. Because obviously if you do this, boom, the trick's ruined. You flash a red card. So as you're taking off the Ace, you're gonna kind of turn it over like that. Then as you're telling your spectator, you're gonna go ahead and turn it over like this. Make sure they know it's a blue card. You're gonna to need to get a pinky break below the top card. So what I did was my hands turned over. I pushed over a little bit, pulled back, get a pinky break right there below the random uh, red card. So as you're talking to your spectator, telling him the ace is going to be very important, you're going to go ahead and place the ace right here face up on top of the deck. You're going to take the double packet just like this. You're gonna have two cards face to face. You're gonna say, okay, we're gonna go ahead and place the ace off to the side just like this. Make sure you keep the card square or else you know, you'll know you flash that card and you do not want that. Now, at this point here, you're going to need to slip jog the top blue card in the middle of the deck. It's quite simple. You're gonna tell your spectator, okay, you're gonna go ahead and make a selection. As you're saying that, you turn the cards towards you. You break open about half the pack. Be careful not to flash this red card and you're gonna slide off the top card just like that really quickly. One more time here guys you're talking to your spectator okay you're gonna go ahead and choose a card you slip jog that uh blue top blue card in the middle of the deck and you're just kind of go like this uh turn over the cards a little bit just like so make your spectator think you have an entire blue deck here now once you've done that this is what your setup's going to be just like so you make sure obviously you don't flash any of those red cards you're going to place the top packet back on maintain a pinky break just like this separating the two packets of cards because you are going to need to force this card on your spectator you're going to need to do a riffle force you tell your spectator call stop anywhere you're riffling down, you're maintaining your pinky break, wherever they call stop, you just lift up on the break. And instead of doing, instead of going like that, you do not want to do that to, you know, go ahead and give them their selection. You're going to turn your wrist at the same time. Uh, as you're turning your wrist, you're going to slide off their card just like that with your thumb. And when you're going to go ahead and put this packet back on, be really careful not to go like this. You'll flash the red cards. You have the packet turned down. Just take the top packet right here. Just kind of put them together just like that and turn it over and boom, your spectator still thinks you have a blue card. I mean a blue deck, but in reality, you know, you have your entire red deck except the top blue card. Now at this point, you can have your spectator examine their card, make sure they memorize it. You're going to ask for it back and you're going to just simply place it in the middle of the deck anywhere you want to. It does not matter. Be careful not to flash any of your red cards. Now at this point, guys, you're going to place a deck uh, either to your left or right, depending on how you spread the cards. Uh, I like to spread the cards with my right hand, so I'm going to go ahead and place it to my left. Now, this is the part of the trick where you go back to the double uh, card packet you have here. At this point, your spectator thinks this is just the ace of spades. It's one card, but in reality, you have your you know two card packet just like this. So you're going to be careful when you're lifting it up. We don't do what I did just there. Make sure you keep it square. If you have kind of a soft card mat surface here, push down a little bit and pick up or like that. Keep the cards as square as possible because if you flash, you'll ruin the trick. Now, you're going to tell your spectator the Ace of Spades is a magical ace because it's going to do some pretty cool st uh, stuff in this trick. Just something along those lines because what you're going to do is snap your finger over the card, give it a little wave, do whatever you want to. And you're going to drop the double card packet right there on top of the deck. And as you're talking, you're going to spread out the deck just like this. And you're going to say the Ace of Spades has actually got the entire deck to change into red cards. Now, what you have here is the ace right here on top of the deck. You have that red card that was behind uh, the ace that was on the table. It makes it seem like the entire deck is red, but be careful as you're spreading because you have the uh, soulmate, in this case, the jack of spades. You have that right there on top of the deck. So as you're spreading, make sure you're careful when you go to the top because you want you do not want to flash that blue card. You just want to the only have the only blue card be shown right here is going to be their selection. You tell them, okay, the only blue card is your selection, just like that. You square up the cards. Be careful as you're squaring up the cards not to flash the other blue card you have on top of the deck. Now what you're gonna do here is take off the ace, go, go ahead and show them that the ace of spades did something pretty cool there, but you're gonna try one more uh, thing with the card. So as you're talking to them, you're gonna get a pinky break below the top two cards, just like this. You can just go ahead and count off with your thumb, one, two, get a pinky break, place the ace right here, face down, on the deck, just like that. Snap your fingers, do whatever you want to. Do a triple lift, you're gonna turn over the three cards as one, just like this. And you're gonna say, okay, the Ace of Spades is actually changed into the Jack of Spades, which is the soulmate to your selection. So with the Jack of Spades on top of the deck here, in order to take it off, you're gonna to need to do a wrist kill. So you're gonna lift up on the card, and as you're lifting it up, you're gonna turn your wrist at the same time, because guys, you have two face up cards right here on top of the deck. Just be really careful when you're doing this. Do not just take it off like that, or else you'll flash those cards, and your spectator will get suspicious. So you're gonna pick up the one card, you're gonna turn your wrist at the same time, place the deck off to the side, and show them that 
the the ace of spades change into the soulmate of their selection just like that you can go ahead and turn these cards over have your spectator examine them but unfortunately guys you do not come off completely clean for this trick because you're going to have your two cards right here on top of the deck face down if you spread the cards face up but you can you can you know as your spectators examining these cards you can just casually you know maybe do a half pass or something like that turn over the two cards just do whatever you want to you know to come off completely clean you can just turn them over like that and boom and then you're gonna have obviously you know a different colored card but you can just palm that off and lead into some tricks right after that but guys that is the tutorial for this really awesome visual card trick i hope you enjoyed this one i understand this one is a little bit more difficult than some of the tricks i've taught here on the channel recently before but i definitely recommend you guys to uh, perform this one it will really will completely confuse all of your spectators go ahead and rewatch any parts of the tutorial you need to in order to fully understand this trick but that is going to do it uh for this video i really hope you enjoyed this one if you liked the video leave it a thumbs up if you're new here to the channel make sure you subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video peace out